What's going on, people? This is Tosh here with Say from Computer Music Academy, and welcome back to Playing With. In this episode, we're going to talk about Lethal by Lethal Audio. This is an extremely powerful software synth. It has a 5 gigabyte library consisting of basses, guitars, leads, keys, drums, synths, and more. It's very easy to navigate and manipulate sounds, and it can be used for any popular genre of music. So with that said, let's get into it. Thanks for watching the review, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, this is going to be a very cool experience for me, uh, mainly because Lethal Audio is a brand new company, and this is their first product. I normally don't get that type of opportunity, but Lethal Audio was very cool in, in getting with me and uh, letting me do this for them. Uh, this is a very cool instrument. I have to point that out right off the bat. I really enjoy what I've seen so far, and we're going to discover some more uh, throughout the review. But this thing is very cool. You have the very nice looking interface. And let's establish this right now. It does remind you of another company's uh, software synth or rompler, as they call them. But what I like about Lethal over the other product is a couple of things. One, the price. It's a lot cheaper to get into this one over the other. Two, the ease of use. Everything is pretty much on the front page, but you do have other tabs as you can go to, but it's still very easy to get around. And three, if you purchase Lethal before June 2017, you're going to get all the expansions released in that time for free. That is very, very dope. Let me quit talking and take you around this thing. Uh, so again, very simple, easy to use, easy to understand interface. Uh, you have your amp controls, filter, pitch. Over here you have noise, unison, vibrato, stereo expander, drive, shine, chord, direction, polyphony, glide, and your main volume right here. You have different tabs down here to take you to different pages. So right now we're in the very easy to understand library page, but we'll come back to that. You have an arpeggiator. You have a transgate. You also have effects that are very easy to use, very cool to use. And then you got some source controls right there. And that's pretty much it. It's not a lot to take in and have to learn or understand. It's very easy to get into this thing and, and go right in. So up here, we can go to our core library. And of course, you can save presets uh, as you go through and learn the product. But uh, you got your core library here, categories here. Pick a, a category. So let's say I want to go basis and boom, all of your results or presets show up over here. And you're actually dealing with a five gigabyte library that actually has 3000 sounds. That's pretty damn good if you ask me. And again, you're going to get those expansions for free before June of 2017. So that's going to add more sounds on. I love what they're doing here. Let's uh, get into these sounds and show you what's going on. Uh, let's see. Let's check out some of these electro bases. Organ bass. I never I've never heard of that. Let's check this out. Okay. I've never known that's what that was called, organ bass. But that's a lot of stuff you hear like in uh like trance and uh definitely some EDM. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I love a nice, low, punchy, full sub bass. It, you, you can't go wrong with it. Yeah. Has a nice slap delay on it.
I like that. It's actually a synth guitar, but it sounds very, very nice. Yeah, that's nice right there. As you can see, everything is loading very quick. You have your previous and next button right here. So let's say I want to go down here. And now I just want to go to the next one. Yes. That's nice. So let's go check out the amp stuff first. And you know, your basic ADSR. And you got your velocity. Amp. And the release. My finger is off the uh, the key right now. It's still going. Very good. Basic stuff there. You got your LFO controls for the amp right here. So you got your sync, which is sync to the tempo of your DAW. You got your plus and minus. And of course, you can select the type of wave you're using for the LFO right here. So you got square, off, triangle, and you can always just click on it as well. Yeah. Then down here, you have your filters. So now let's, let's mess around with this pitch down here. <laughs> of course, once again, your LFO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see the type of control you have and the type of type of craziness you can get into. And now I want to show you this stuff over here. So you have your noise and you can turn that on here. You can set the amount. And then you have your type of noises. So you have your white, pink and blue.
you have the unison, which adds some really cool effects for detuning and whatnot. So let's set that there. <laughs> Almost sound like the, the Wild West. Very cool. You got a vibrato. <laughs> the stereo expander, which is already on. Of course, you can turn it off. And once you turn it on, and let's turn it down. So now we have it on. We have the width all the way down. And you can turn the delay on a little bit. And if you're listening in headphones, or if you don't have headphones, this is the perfect time to put it on. And you can really hear this effect. Your drive. That's without. That's with. Full power. Very nice. Shine. This is pretty cool. I don't know if you're catching it. It's almost like a filter taking just a, some of the frequencies and adding them or removing them. Nice, nice, nice. But then you have chord. So I can go directly to a major. Easy to make chords, to play chords, I should say. Yes. And then you have your direction, forward, backward. Woo, I like that. There you go. There we go. Your polyphony here, so you can turn it on to polyphonic or, or, or monophonic. And that's mono, poly. Like that. Glide. Of course we like that. And that's the top, you know, things you can do just with the absolute basic controls. But then you also have Transgate, which is actually very easy to get into. Nice. Shuffle. So then you have your trans gate over here. Yeah, this right here, I really like. This is your effects tab. You can use up to six effects. They're very easy to select. Of course, you got your power right here. And we have two that are already being used for that particular preset. But very easy to click here, right click, and you can select what type of effect you would like to add. I'm a phaser guy. I really like phasers on certain things. So I can add that. And then you have your controls for that particular effect down here. Ah, 
I like that. I like that. One other thing that I really like. Let's just say I wanted to do a course. And of course, I got my uh, controls there. You could actually drag and drop. How sick is that? And then, of course, you have your amp source, filter source, pitch source. Very easy controls right here. If you know what's going on with this kind of stuff. Very easy to use. So, hopefully, throughout this review, you actually saw the amount of sounds that you get from Lethal. The ease of use and the amount of control you have. And if this is something that you would like to have for whatever genre of music you do, because it does apply, I highly recommend it. You can purchase Lethal from LethalAudio.com for $1.99 US. And of course, it's an instant download. And remember, you do get free expansions to June 2017. On that note, if you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and for more reviews, tutorials, and exclusive courses, make your way over to ComputerMusicAcademy.com. See you next time.